This is the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro and this is the Beta FPV Meteor 65 Pro. They are both very nice flying quads at the same price. So I got asked quite often by people like which one is better. So I'm just going to do a quick comparison video to point out the difference. But before I dig in, I just wanted to say there is no better or worse. And I'm just mainly sharing my observations of the difference. So you get to weigh your option to see which one is right. Let's go. For specs, the only difference is at the motors, size of props, frame, and the battery tray. The rest are going to be the same. So for the Meteor 65 Pro, it has an OA02 19,500 kV motors with a 35mm props and a smaller frame. On the other hand, the Meteor 75 Pro has a 1102 22,000 kV motors with the 45 millimeter props and a larger frame, of course, right? The frame of the Meteor 65 Pro can only take a 300 mm size BT 2.0 battery. As you can see, this is the only one that fits. And the Meteor 75 Pro can only take a 400 to 550 milliamp battery. Or you can just try to stuff the one, try to stuff the 300 in with the additional uh, adapter or something. But generally, this is the one you're gonna use. Next, we can talk about the flight characteristics. For the Meteor 65 Pro, flying indoors is much easy as the size and power level is just right. Much easier to hit gaps. The speed is just good enough, not too fast, not too slow. On the other hand, although the Meteor 75 Pro has more power with higher KV motors and larger props, the largest size just start biting back when you're flying in confined spaces and it's much faster and it's harder to control due to it's just more powerful. So indoor flying, I would say the Meteor 65 Pro might be a better option. For outdoor flying, I guess you already know what I'm going to say. The Meteor 70 65 Pro is definitely flyable, just a little bit powerless in some occasions, but overall the flight is still pretty joyful. For the Meteor 75 Pro, with better equipped power, outdoor larger space flying, it's much more fun. You really get to speed up the way you like. So for pure outdoor larger space, Meteor 75 Pro may be better. For acro ability, both of the quads are capable for some extent, but since it's ducted, of course you're gonna lose some performance and these whoop will never meet the same standard of a pure freestyle build. But just to decide which one is better in this case, I think we, we can agree that more power generally means better, right? So the Meteor 75 Pro, get this one. Next is the durability. By all means, Beta FPV whoops are generally not durable and they are definitely better ones out there. But for the sake of comparing these two, I think the Meteor 75 Pro might be a better chance of surviving additional abuse. As you can see that the frame is bigger and it's much more thicker. I think it offers slightly better protections to the inner parts of your hardware, especially the camera and the VTX is the first thing that probably will get damage when you hit something. To demo it, when you are hitting something, mostly the frame touches the object first, right? And the, the longer the frame is, your camera should have less chance of hitting the object. That's just what I think. All right, so these are the main difference I can think of right now. But if you think I miss anything that you observe and think is important, why not leave it in the comment section to help all other folks? Also, do let me know which one you prefer more. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.